Welcome again to Creative Sweep TV. This time, armed only with my iPad, I've drawn a whole bunch of images. First of all, I drew this, then I drew this, and then I drew this. And most recently, with my iPad and with Photoshop and a new application called Easel, I drew this. And in this episode, I'm going to show you just how to do it. It's Adobe Easel. I hope you learned something. We already have our apps downloaded from the App Store. The first one and the most creative one, I think, um, out of the lot is Easel. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to fire up Easel. I'm just going to go ahead and tap on the screen here. That's going to fire it up. And the first thing that we're faced with is pretty much all the instructions you need uh, to be able to operate it. You can see there's a ghostly hand uh, standing over the top there and some controls under each of the fingertips. And that's pretty much how it works. Let me show you. I just go ahead and do a single tap on the screen here and we're faced with a blank canvas. So that's my hand there. Hello everyone. Um, similar controls to, that you're probably used to for zooming in. So if I touch on the screen now I can zoom in and I can zoom out um, to look at the canvas that way. So that's pretty cool. Now to access all the controls all I really need to do is put all five of my fingers on the screen and you can see all of the controls and they follow my little fingers around like that. That's exciting. So to choose one of the controls here, all I need to do is, let's say color, leave that finger on the tablet, all the others are hovering above, and then move that finger over to select a color. And I can choose different colors for each of those um, areas. So I choose, let's say I choose rare, oh, let's choose like a, a skin tone for the first one there. There we go. And then I release that. Next time I go to color, I choose the next tab and then that's highlighted and then I can go ahead and choose a different color let's say a, um, a bluey gray color let's go over here uh, bluey uh, that's kind of bluey gray enough for me and then release so I can set up uh, all of my colors there really quite easily let's actually do a gray in this this case and there black is good let's keep black and white is always handy as well to get started the next control that we look at is the size. So the little circle hovering above my thumb there is the size of the brush. So I leave my size finger down, up and down and up and down and that's how I change the size. So I'm just sliding that finger up and down. That's the rude finger uh, we can do that with. Okay, so that's easy. On five again. If I want to have like a little dynamic, just like a little lined up neatly display, you put all five down and then release them all at once. And then there it is there. Then we can simply tap like this. So uh, opacity, I can then just click on there and up and down and up and down. And that's how I change the opacity. Color, and I can change the color there. Um, I, I like the white over there. Let's choose uh, the black actually. And then away I go. So that way I can change the opacity. You see in the top left corner, the opacity changing. Again, size. Uh, we can click on that and make the size bigger and smaller and so forth. Okay. Now, the last thing, so we've got the size. Let's, let's go ahead and choose color. Let's choose the opacity. Let's make it bigger. Last thing that we need to do is look at the setting. So I'm just going to leave my little pinky finger down and that brings up the setting controls. Okay, so you can see there's two options here. There is one that says transmit to Photoshop. <whistles> what does that do? We'll look at that in a minute. Or save to my photos right here on the iPad. Okay, how, how does uh, Easel know how to send this to Photoshop? Okay, well let me, let me show you. Right down the bottom corner here, there's a little Photoshop button. If I go ahead and tap that, then Easel is going to look for any Photoshop 5. Uh, CS 5.1s in on the same local area network, on the same wireless network. Okay, so it's very it, it will recognise that, and then if I go ahead and tap on that, it will ask me for a password. Now the password is actually set up in Photoshop. CS 5.1 okay 
So let's go ahead and look where that is set up in Photoshop. Underneath the uh, edit menu, you'll notice right down here there is a section here called remote connections. Okay, I go ahead and click on remote connections and you can see it has Photoshop server and enable remote connections. So provided we're on the same wireless network, and hopefully we are, we should be able to type in the password and connect the two uh, together. Okay, so let's try it. I'll press connect. I've already got the password in. It's looking for the, um, the Photoshop server and saying connecting down the bottom. So all going well, we should be able to save our files, whatever we draw, over to Photoshop. So that's, that's pretty exciting. As a matter of fact, let's do a little bit of a test straight off the bat where we go ahead and we say transmit to Photoshop. All of a sudden, we have a new blank document with a new layer. You can see there, uh, layer zero, transparent layer. So whatever we've drawn in easel, then we can transmit that over to Photoshop. Well, let's go ahead and do a little bit of a drawing, shall we? Okay, the first thing that you need to know um, is it's okay to make mistakes. So if I go ahead and choose a color here and then go ahead and start painting about, oh no, I've got this, this brown color. I don't like the last thing that I did. My thumb can flick to the left and then that will undo that last move. If I'd like to redo it, my thumb can flick to the right and then that can redo it. If I don't like what I've done altogether, uh, I can push my thumb upwards and that will undo all of the um, image and I can start again. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of a drawing here. I'm going to choose some different colors. I'm going to wash in, uh, uh, drop the opacity down and start washing in a little bit of a sky at the top here. We're going to keep things pretty light. You can see as I paint, it's got a real watercolory type uh, feel to it and you can see as I'm painting across um, all of those colors tend to blend together a little bit very much like doing a watercolor painting um, if you've ever gone ahead and done that. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that in over there and then we'll go ahead and choose a slightly different color maybe this one here um, and we'll put bit of a line across there. We might just increase the opacity just a shade and we'll do that over there. This can be our background. Uh, perhaps, perhaps we'll do some hills in the background there like that. <clears throat> and I'm just going to go ahead and wash in this background like this. Okay, let's say we're happy with that. We've got that uh, ready to go and we need to now uh, transmit that over to Photoshop. What we do now is all fingers down, leave the pinky there and then we have the save to Photoshop or transmit to Photoshop. Let's go ahead and tap that and then that's going to go ahead and open in Photoshop for us in just a moment. Let's try it again. And it's importing the easel and there we have our background. The really cool thing about this is you can see we have it on a layer there, okay? There's the layer. Uh, we have our original document over here. Let's get rid of that. We don't, we don't need that. But we certainly have this um, on a layer, okay? So that's, that's really cool. That's ready to go. We're now going to build up on this. We're going to add stuff to it so that we can move objects around. So we no longer need this version on the iPad. Uh, I'm going to all fingers down and wipe that all together because now we're going to start drawing something else that gets shifted over onto Photoshop that will drag and drop onto a new layer. Let's go ahead and do a little drawing here. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and start with a small brush, increase the opacity. We might even zoom in a little bit and I'm just going to start, I always like to start um, with some eyes. Let's And we'll, we'll put a little nose on there. That looks cool. 
let's get that bit right, make sure we're, we're looking good. Uh, that looks excellent. We'll just get in there and start doing that. Maybe while I start drawing, uh, perhaps we should uh, put some thinking music on or, or something like that, and, and then you can see what's going on. Okay, so what we're going to do now is transmit our little guy back over to Photoshop. So uh, go over to our settings, transmit him over to Photoshop and he should be on his way floating through the uh, ether there somewhere and now over he is in Photoshop. So what we can do with the layers is grab the layer here and drag and drop him um, from one document to the other. So you see here he is here on one document, grab his layer, drag and drop it over there. There he is on his new layer and we can put him into position on his new background and we're starting to get a pretty cool looking little dude running through the field. So we can build this up uh, piece by piece and put some little uh, quotes and all sorts of things on here and there we go. So a few of you might be asking, well, you know, what's up with that? Um, what what resolution is it? Well, if we go to the image size here, we're looking at uh, 2000 by 1536 pixels. Um, if you want to resize your little guy here on his layer, I'd rec recommend you do something like, you know, creating a smart layer, um, so a smart object rather, so you can scale him up and down and not lose any, um, uh, what you might call it, not lose any uh, resolution on him as you do scale him up and down. So I can scale a little guy down so I can fit into the scene a little bit better. Don't forget to uh, tick the commit button. And there he is. Whee! We could even animate him if we wanted to. That'd be fun. But perhaps that's for another um, episode of Creative Suite TV. There's our little guy. What a drawing from the iPad, all in Photoshop, different layers, transparent backgrounds. Easel is awesome. I love painting with it. It is terrific fun. <laughs>